Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. If you have any doubts that we are living in the last days and that Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon, I want you to pay very close attention to the story I'm about to share with you today. Folks, the spirit of Antichrist is surging all over the world. People are obsessed with the supernatural, with summoning demons, with the occult, with Ouija boards, etc. Um, and it reminds me of what the Apostle Paul records in the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. The New King James Version actually translated doctrines of demons. Check this out. I just came across this uh, from my friends over at End Times Headlines. Again, go to endtimeheadlines.org. Recent article titled, Minnesota Art Museum Recently Held a Family-Friendly Demon Summoning. Let me read this to you guys. An art museum in Minneapolis offered an otherworldly weekend activity for families earlier this month. The Walker Art Center invited parents and children to participate in what the museum described as a totally free, collective, and playful demon summoning session on August 5th. Demons have a bad reputation, but maybe we're just not very good at getting to know them, an advertisement on the museum's website read. According to the messenger, the event, which was hosted by artist Tamer Eton, was broken into two parts. First, Visitors worked with Eton to design a vessel for the demon that knows them best, with some examples including the demon of overthinking or the demon of not trusting your gut, the museum website explained. After constructing their vessels, guests were invited to watch Eton perform a summoning ritual for a spirit named, and I'm not going to name this demon, I'm not going to do that. So they're, they're doing this, summoning these demons. Uh... The name of the demon, which I'm not going to name, will come from the dark side of the moon to lead you in locating your feelings using ancient Babylonian techniques, the website said. But just to summarize, you heard that correct, folks. An art museum in Minneapolis recently had a demon summoning session where they invited families, parents, and their kids, their little children, to come. And as I said, it's a totally free, collective and playful demon summoning session. Like I said, folks, the spirit of Antichrist is surging all over the world. Again, people's obsession with the supernatural, with the occult, with summoning demons, with Ouija boards, etc. It is skyrocketing. We have to remember what the Apostle Paul records in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We are living in the last days, folks. We are in a spiritual war. I mean, you got places now inviting families, parents and their kids to come and summon demons. Never thought I would see that day, but then you know what? The Bible says this would happen. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you need to get saved right now. How are you saved? Put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and he's the only name that can save you. You are not promised your next breath here. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places. And if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am gonna tell you the truth because I love you. Again, Jesus is the only way to heaven and the only name that can save you. Put your faith and your trust in his blood right now. Believe he died for you, he was buried, and he rose from the dead on the third day as it is written in the scriptures, and do it now, because tomorrow is not promised. 
And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. God bless you all.